Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. Today is Monday, but today we are going to be doing my grocery haul. If you saw, I was in San Antonio this past week and weekend, so I have yet to go grocery shopping. We got home and needed a few things around the house. A few things went bad, we had to throw some stuff out, but now we just need to stock up on a few things that we have been needing and make some meals for this week. I'm only going to be planning Monday through Friday, and a couple of meals will roll over from last week. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna be working with and just pick up a few quick grocery items. So let's head over to Walmart and I'm gonna show y'all what I'm going to be grabbing today on my keto journey and what I plan to be having for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So let's get straight into it. All right guys, we have arrived at Walmart. Let's head on in and grab our groceries for the week. First thing I did grab was this Starbucks Unsweetened Blonde Roast Iced Coffee. I have been drinking this again lately because it has been very hot here in Texas and this is my favorite flavor. I needed to stock up on some more heavy whipping cream so I went ahead and grabbed two things of it because I'm going to be using it for a lot of recipes this week so needed a lot of that. My kids have been drinking a lot of unsweetened almond milk so I grabbed another gallon this week. Um, the, almond Breeze is my favorite brand I did grab it in the vanilla. I needed to stock up on some more eggs, so I usually just grab a pack of two 18 large eggs just to top off in my fridge. Um, I had a little bit of sour cream left at home. I knew I was going to need it throughout the week, so I just went ahead and grabbed a tub of that. A few cheeses for this week. I grabbed some sliced provolone cheese for some keto Philly cheese steaks. Absolutely delicious. I do have a video on that. Some more mozzarella cheese as always. So I used it yesterday. I made myself like a keto late night pizza, so I ended up using it up. Had to grab some more. Just some shredded Parmesan cheese for a few recipes as well. Always keep this on hand. And I wanted myself a treat for this week. So I went ahead and grabbed two Lily's Cookies and Cream Chocolate Bars. These are so good. I'm absolutely loving this flavor. This has to be my favorite one so far. And I just needed some regular salt. I use salt for a lot of things. Because remember, my whole family isn't keto. So I need to stock up on that. And some garlic powder. I need to stock up on. Usually I grab it from Sam's. But they have been out lately. Some adobo seasoning. A new seasoning to try. Now I saw these cauliflower tops. I wanted to check them out. They were pretty low in carbs, not too bad, but they did have some food starch modified in there. Not too bad. Let me know what y'all think down below if y'all have tried them before. I think they will be a great replacement for some tater tots. And these are new, I saw, but they are breaded with rice flour and brown rice flour. So make sure y'all do read y'all's ingredients, even though it does say cauliflower. A few pickles to snack on for the week. I love these kosher petite deals. And then my kids do like these kosher dill pickles, the bigger ones. So I went ahead and grabbed two big jars. A few frozen vegetables. I'm going to be making some cauliflower stir fry rice. So I grabbed this stir fry frozen vegetable bag. As well as this three pepper and onion blend bag for those um, keto Philly cheesesteaks. I like to just grab a bag where it's all mixed together already. It just comes in handy. For my vegetables this week, I went ahead and grabbed two bags of these broccoli florets. Instead of just chopping up my own, I just went ahead and grabbed some bags. A bag of some romaine for a chicken Caesar salad I'm going to be making for some lunch. Some fresh parsley that's already chopped up in the little container. Today I'm going to be making a keto calabacita side. So this is just like a Mexican zucchini squash. Went ahead and grabbed two of those. Some green onions for a few recipes. I always grab green onions. I always have to have them on hand. A big pack of strawberries this week. I'm going to be putting out a video on a keto dessert that includes some strawberries. So I went ahead and grabbed a big pack. A few onions to keep on hand, of course. I went ahead and grabbed two large onions, a few tomatoes. I grabbed like six Roma tomatoes just for some salads, some keto calabacitas today, a few lemons to have on hand for dessert and a one dinner that I needed them for. For our last of our meats, I grabbed some ribeye steak for those keto Philly cheesesteaks. For the beef and broccoli, I did grab this stir fry beef. And my last thing I did went ahead and grab for this week was this pack of some keto, I mean some keto, 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. Some chicken breast tenderloins. I always say everything is keto, but we went ahead and headed home. On our menu this week, it is kind of short because y'all know I usually go shopping on Saturday, but I am going shopping today, which is Monday. So I'm just planning Monday through Friday, and then we'll get back on track this Saturday with our grocery shopping. So today for dinner, I had some chicken thighs defrosted in the fridge. So I'm gonna go ahead and smother those in some buffalo sauce. And then my brother-in-law wanted some calabacitas zucchini on the side, which is just like a Mexican zucchini. It's really good. Um, Tuesday for lunch, I will be having a bell pepper sandwich because I have yet to try it. It rolled over from last week because I was in San Antonio. We went there spontaneously. So I have a few things that are gonna roll over. For dinner will be the Tuscan pork chops or broccoli. I didn't get to do a video on these last week because I did go out of town, so y'all will be seeing a video on those. Wednesday, I'm going to get my hair done that day. So for breakfast, it's gonna be just an easy omelet. For dinner, it will be some creamy stuffed bell peppers. Thursday, I will be having some keto pancakes. I've been craving those. And for dinner will be some keto Philly cheesesteaks. I do have a video on these, really, really good. They're made with fathead dough, like the bread, and you just stuff it with some Philly cheesesteak um, ingredients, and it's delicious. Friday for lunch will be a chicken Caesar salad, very simple, fresh. Dinner will be beef and broccoli with cauliflower fried rice on the side. And this is my menu for this week, Monday through Friday, and then we'll get back on track on Saturday. So I thought I can just include a clip of my dinner today in this video. This is the buffalo chicken thighs that I was going to have for dinner today. All I did was melt some butter in a pot, put in my buffalo sauce, heated it through. Then I made my chicken thighs in an air fryer. I seasoned beforehand. I put salt, pepper, garlic powder, some paprika. Um, I doused in avocado oil, tossed it, and then air fried it for about 15 minutes. Flip um, halfway through. And then you have yourself some bu perfect buffalo chicken thighs. Very delicious and easy to make. And I know this side is kind of weird. It doesn't really go with the buffalo chicken thighs. But my brother-in-law was really craving these zucchini. It's like a keto calabacitas. So it's a Mexican zucchini squash and it has like tomatoes, um, some sour cream, some onions, some seasoning, and it's just really good with some cheese. So very simple side as well to go with the buffalo chicken thighs. All right, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this week's menu and what I'm having for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Hope this gives y'all some different ideas on what y'all can have throughout y'all's keto journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for this week's videos because I will be putting some awesome recipes out for y'all, and I will see y'all on the next one.